All right, y'all, you're ready for another chart video? From Rene, most popular anime series of 2024. My guess on the most popular anime of 2024, and I don't know what metrics he's using to like gather this, but if you just think about like viewership that I see online on YouTube, and even though YouTube viewerships are not everything, it's still like a coefficient scaling factor. I think that like Bleach, Bleach probably should be the most Maybe my hero kind of got up there the last arc. I don't know. A bleach or like bound that on. I don't think Re Zero is kind of up there. But uh, let's check it out. All right, we're starting off in February, and yes, Frieden is dominating. You know, no surprise. JJK up there, and the Shibu incident did happen. Solo leveling, nice to see. One Piece, Mash is up here. Demon Slayer. Oh, remember Hashira training arc also happened. My hero. Dungeon Meshi was also popping off. Classroom of the Elite, it's nice to see that, you know, such a niche show like this is on the board. Bleach is all the way down here, which is interesting, so is Borto. Okay. JJK popping off? Yo, Classroom of the Elite. Classroom of the Elite, though. You see that? Code actually made it. Code actually made it pretty high up, man. That's, that's, that's kind of interesting how Code you know, got some representation for a bit. Like, boom, right over here. L look at this chart. Just, damn, let's fucking go with Classroom of the Elite. Maybe I should change the uh, layout more like this. And I'll do this. And I will put my face, like, down here. And maybe I'll put the chat, like, over here. Let's go. Dude, MASH got that popular? That's crazy. I didn't realize MASH had such a big following. But, like, that, that's insane to me. I thought that, like, most people didn't give a fuck about it. Oh, 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 Ninja Kamui. <laughs> yeah, I think that match was just because of Creepy Nuts opening. But, bro, bro, Ninja Kamui just fucking just catfishing everybody for the first episode. And then Ninja Kamui just dies off. Oh my god, Haikyuu came out of nowhere. Um, This is probably Haikyuu movie, right? Or something new? Class of the Elite! Let's go Class of the Elite! Demon Slayer? Yo, solo leveling. Don't Solo leveling's keeping up pretty well. Coat. Coat's still hanging around. That's cool. Freedom, freedom. Solo leveling. And Ninja Kamui is just fucking dead now. I'm surprised that Bleach is struggling. I thought that Bleach for sure would be like the biggest. But like, it's really down there. Now, maybe the last season of thousand year blood war arc was uh it was not as exciting as what's happening maybe this season i don't know oh my god freedom no no bleach is coming up oshinoko has entered the fray delicious okay something happens in march right this is what i'm talking about because like dungeon meshi we watched the first like two episodes no one give a fuck in my audience and I, I, I was like, oh, I guess it is what it is. But it was mostly just slice of life, just cooking. But I hear that this show gets crazy good. I hear the world building is on another level. So at some point, this shit gets starting to get, get all the recognition. So lovely. Apothecary Diaries. Code just keeps going up and down. I'm going to guess that these are the Code NG episodes for me. Oh, Apothecary Diaries is popping off. Is there also a turning point? Is there like a turning point for Dungeon Meshi and Apothecary Diaries? Both of those shows, I'm going to probably brute force it before Season 2. And Apothecary Diaries, like, we're going to brute force it very soon. My hero climbing. Coat, 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 coat made it to third place for a bit. Soul leveling, oh my god. What happened here? March 31st. Um, This is pretty much the end of Winter 2024. This is probably a rise moment, right? This is probably Arise, wakey wakey, Ohio. Oh my god, Spice and Wolf. Spice and Wolf got carried by the nostalgia for a bit, but bunch of frauds, I bet you it dies off right away. Yeah, look at that, look at that, just dead, 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 fuck you. No one cares about Spice and Wolf. Oh, hold is my wife. None of you actually care. Y'all just watched that shit a long time ago, you know, fucking, and Hollow is your favorite, you know, wolf girl to masturbate to, but you don't actually care about the show. Look how, fell, look how much it fell off. It fell off on everybody's channels. Mushoku Tensei has entered the fray. Dude, 
Father's Day episode is going to go crazy for MT. Slime is on the board as well now. Windbreaker down here. Oh, Konosuba fucking popping off. Dungeon Mission climbing again. One Piece popping off. Kaiju number eight. Uh huh. Kaiju number eight was actually such a good, fun anime. Borto. I don't know what happened with Borto there, but Borto's popping off. JJK. Ninja. Oh, okay, and it's Kaiju number eight. No, no. Freedom's down here. Freedom's pretty much over by now. It's it's really hard to, you know, it's unfair to have shows compete when it's not even fucking airing. One Piece is popping off though. Come on, Slime. Get higher. Dungeon Meshi. Dungeon Meshi. Something happened. Something happens near the end of April. Another turning point has hit for Dungeon Meshi, bro. What the fuck is going on? Kaiju wave popping off. Dude, Slime is just struggling. Tensor is not even visible here anymore. That's so sad. No, no, Slime's going off. Maybe this is the Hinata versus Rimuru fights. And quickly falls off. Holy shit, Soul 11 came out of fucking nowhere on May. Um, what do you think that is? Why would Soul Leveling pop off in May? Was there some new game, movie, some new shit? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure these are, you know, like, just Google Trends numbers, maybe. The Mewing Trailer Season 2 announcements? Who knows? Windbreaker, Windbreaker. Oh shit, Kimetsu no Yaiba is here, bro. They're going to be throwing fucking 20 airplanes to pad time, and it's still going to be number one. Demon Slayer is so dominant. Konosuba popping off. JJK? Ooh. What the fuck happened there? Dude. This is just manga stuff, right? JJK's not even airing. It, 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 is this just getting carried by manga leaks and shit? Is he just tallying Google Trends right now? It's just saying JJK? What happened in fucking May 2024? Nah, I'd win? Wait, when? Sh when hold, hold the fuck up. When was the Shibu incident? That was way long time ago. Stand proud, you're strong. That shit happened a long time ago, did it not? Is my JJK... See, I think it might be Mahoraga fight. But season 2, it ended like... um. Dude, season 2 ended in like, before January started. We're fucking ha almost half, halfway into 2024. Season 2 ended at the end of 2023. There's no fucking way. There, there's something else happening right now. Slime, slime, slime. Slime has its moments here and there. Konosuba on top for a bit. Everything is pretty close. Dude, I'm surprised at how well Konosuba is doing. Dungeon Meshi on top. Oh, Kaiju. What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, Kaiju wait went fucking viral here. I don't know. Uh, June 15. So now this is what? The end of Kaiju 8 nearly. The finale. Shit's popping off, right? Probably some crazy fights happening. Yeah. That's probably the biggest gap we've seen in first or second place so far. Konosuba 2. Oh! Wow, I didn't realize that people fucking... Damn, people fucking love this shit, man. Oh my god! Did you see that? That is an insane fucking gap. It truly shows you, like... And try to keep a look on, like, um, what kind of shows are, like, really popular. That's always on the top. It's always Battle Shonen, is it not? Like, pretty much like top four here. This is all Battle Shonen, right? Mushoku Tennis is kind of keeping up. It's nice to see. Windbreaker is here. JJK is down below, but JJK is not even airing. But you'll notice that the most popular shit is always the young demographic Shonen, Battle Shonen. Yeah, there it is. That's the biggest gap we've seen so far. Four million jump right there. You see what Demon Slayer? Maybe Muzan started walking, who knows, but holy fuck, look at that gap, it's not even close. Like, everything else just seems so insignificant compared to Demon Slayer. Holy shit, Oshinoko popping off? Hey, Roshitere has entered the fray. Yuki, incest memes are probably gonna make this go crazy. Nokotan is here as well. 
Fairy tale made it on board. Nokotan number one. Power of God. Power of God fell off. Yuki. Yuki incest. Oh, 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 oh. Yuki incest. Nokotan popping off. Still, the battle shown is dominating. I'm not gonna lie, I expected way more hits from Roche today because of the Yuki memes and it, the voice acting for the dub going viral, but it wasn't as significant as I thought it would be. Nokotan's pretty much fallen off at this point. Why is Tower of God jumping here and there? Like, there's no way this show should be on the fucking same level as Demon Slayer, but... Oh, sorry, uh, Oshinoko, but, you know, it's probably because of how bad the show was and everyone talked about how bad it was. JJK is still on the board somehow with the manga stuff, I guess. Uh-oh. Tensor is still hanging on. Wait, I saw Wistoria down there for a bit. This battle shonen is dominating. It's still always the fucking battle shonens, man. But it's cool to see Oshinoko and Roche today can compete. Wistoria has also now entered the fray. ReZero is also on the board. ReZero can't even make it up, man. <laughs> Why the fuck is Attack on Titan down here? It's not even airing because this is all probably just Google Trends numbers. One Piece dominating. Like, this is Uzumaki. Dude, it's actually so sad that no one cares about ReZero. Like, like, bro, it's September 28th. Now, ReZero is about to start airing in October, but like, goddamn. Like, ReZero is down here? Like, Konosuba's done airing. Freer is not even airing. Tensor is getting butchered by Apis Studios and ReZero is down here. What the fuck? Uzumaki, catfishing everybody. There it is. That's what I like to see. ReZero on top, baby. What the fuck? Wow. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. ReZero on top for a second and Dandaran showed up out of fucking nowhere. Just, just. Overlaps it just doubles it. The power of shonen audience compared to a bunch of degenerate fucking basement crawling isekai indoors like us. Blue lock, blue lock on there. Reaser is pretty much just falling off already. Blue box is also on board. Uh, Bleach is on there. Reaser, come on. Reaser, come on. Oh, Dragon Ball Daima. Dragon Ball Daima is probably the biggest fall off, bro. Like. Yeah, Dragon Ball gets hard carried by its name association with Toriyama, but like nobody's watching this bullshit, bro. I guarantee you. Watch it fall off so quick. Dead. Just fucking dead. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go, ReZero. Daima's dead. Dandaran is still so doing so fucking well. Dude, it's crazy that Blue Lock is still up here, man. Blue Lock is just still hanging on. And there you have it. That's pretty much the end. You know, it, it makes no sense that like shows like JJK is still fucking, you know, it, the anime is not airing. What are you talking about, right? So obviously these are statistics that it's data is based on Google searches, which is manga, anime, but not only that, video games, movies, relevant news, trailers, openings, right? Stuff like that. But cool to see ReZero and Dandadan at the very top as the shows that we really enjoy. But Danmachi, I didn't see Danmachi on the board. Hey, please go give Mr. Rene a sub. Go like this video if you did. Here's the link. And I'll see you next time.